June 5th, there was a call for a peaceful protest organized in Toronto. And as my daughter scrolled, she came across an invitation for a planned riot. You see, that riot was planned by those who thrive on chaos. And while we gaze in disgust at all the looters and the arsonists, the peaceful protesters are ignored and their pleas go unheard and unseen as we focus on the distraction and not the issue. You see, we become like sheep herded towards what makes the loudest noise. Today, my theme is on distractions. And although I will not necessarily be speaking on the topic of, de of, of racial divide, because I already discussed that last week, but, but what is interesting is I, got, I saw so many responses to some posts that were all over social media, and it inspired this topic of distractions. What I offer, as usual, are my experiences and information that I've collected along the way and learned along the way. And in the last few weeks, I'm sure you've noticed all of the craziness that's happening that we've been seeing all over the news, right? And it's kind of been a little bit of a trying week, sometimes emotionally, and, and trying to come to terms with all of the financial craziness and the repercussions of, of, of this COVID business. And, uh, you know, my worries, my worries because of what's happening in the world around us, my worries as for my children as they're growing up, you know, in, in sort of this black intolerant society and all of the protests that have brought out really a humongous outpouring of love and awesomeness. Yeah. Uh, but it also has also brought out the best and, and uh, so it's brought out the best and also the worst in many people. But again, this is not a topic on racial divide. This is not what it is about at all. Not, not even a little bit. <laughs> Many of us posted uh, you know, messages about coming together in the protest. Many of us celebrated this global shift that we're experiencing. Like, we, this is worth celebrating. But then there are those that found it necessary to discredit almost every single post that mentioned anything that was significant to the point of all of these protests or, or whatever is happening. You know, people mentioning um, points that are completely insignificant and off topic to the message. For example, a post on women being sexually assaulted became more about the way women dressed. You heard that. A post about women becoming, being sexually assaulted became about the way women dress. The protest that's been happening all over about the lives of black people became more about money and an organization than about the lives that are seeking equality in the first place. The post about a partner not feeling heard and respected in her relationship became about men are lazy and they never do anything. Can you imagine if we lived in a world where what we heard was spoken, where what we saw was shown, where what we took was given, where what we felt was known. Can you imagine a world where love is unconditionally gifted, where truth is freely expressed, where pain is always comforted, and where blame and shame was never felt? Can you imagine a world <sighs> where hope was a thing to trust and believe, where compassion always won, where life was enough of a reason to live, and where humanity's light still shone. Imagine a world with people of integrity, expressing all the truth within. Imagine a world seeking only peace and harmony, encouraging our hearts to sing. Oh, 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 oh. it's so. See 
this world that turns to love and not to fear. This world is ours to live and share. Imagine a world that expresses love and kindness and riches shared abundantly. Imagine a world where precious moments are timeless and all of us are blessed and free. Have you and I had a conversation that was about one topic and one of us <laughs> brings up something that is completely off topic or we hone in on just that one word that is said that allows the conversation to shift and become something completely outside of the point. I mean, we all do this. We all do it. <laughs> I came to realize, you know, in just thinking about all of the ways that people answered posts over the last little while, I've just been looking at that and just analyzing how we take in information and how we respond to it. And I, and I came to realize that there's something really interesting going on about the way that we handle information. Distraction. A distraction is a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. A distraction is also defined as an extreme agitation of the mind or emotions that are caused by the lack of ability to pay attention or the lack of interest in the object of attention or the great intensity or novelty or attractiveness of something other than the actual object of attention. 